In this lesson we're going to look at the order of operations when we're looking at a complicated mathematical expression. Uh, to kind of motivate uh, why we want to study this, um, let's consider this example here. Uh, 12 plus 6 divided by 3 times 2. Um, so you, if you're encountered with this expression, um, one thing you might decide to do would be to just kind of work from left to right. 12 plus 6 is 18. Um, uh, and then we still have our divided by 3 times 2. And then 18 divided by 3 is 6. And then 6 times 2 is 12. Uh, that would be one possible answer you could get. But I, I think we could all agree that maybe something else you might try to do is to divide 6 and 3 first. So you get 2 when you divide 6 divided by 3 and then maybe you decide to multiply 2 and 2 next and so now you have 12 plus 4 and now you have 16. Uh, you got another way maybe you do it is uh, to kind of work right to left. You might say alright I'm going to multiply 3 and 2 over on the right first 3 times 2 is 6, and then 6 divided by 6 is 1, and 12 plus 1 is 13. So you can see we kind of have a problem here. Um, without making any arithmetic errors, I've come up with three different answers to the same problem. And so what we need is a consistent set of rules to follow. So the rules um, are, are these. The first thing we're going to do when we're encountered with a mathematical expression is take care of any parentheses. Now there are no parentheses in this example I just gave, so we'll come back to that. Um, and same with the next priority, which is taking care of exponents. There are no exponents in what I just did here. Number three is multiplication and division. So if we look at the different ways that I went about solving this problem, in this first way here, I added 12 and 6 before I did anything else. But the order of operations tells me to take care of multiplying and dividing before I take care of adding and subtracting. So it now becomes clear that this method that I used was incorrect. Now I saved addition for last in both of these ways. Um, so that's good. So the only difference here was here I divided 6 and 3 first, here and in this one I multiplied 3 and 2 first. So what should I do? Well, in our number 3 here it says both multiplication and division. Now I put those in the same line to emphasize that neither multiplication nor division necessarily come first we would say that multiplication and division are tied with one another. And so that brings us to the very last uh, part of our rules, which is in case of a tie, we're going to move from left to right. And so because in case of a tie, move left to right, I have division, I have multiplication. Since division is on the left, I was supposed to do that first. And since I did not do what was on the left first, in this way of going about the problem, I know this is incorrect. So the correct way to do this problem is this way right here. So let's take a look at a few examples and work through them using this order of operations. So I have 16 plus 12 divided by 4. So there's only two operations here, so I go up here to decide what to do first. Addition is priority number four. Division is priority number three. So that means I need to do my division first. So I'm going to rewrite my 16. And then I'm going to take 12 divided by 4, which is 3. Notice I rewrite the part of the expression that I haven't changed. That just gets written again right down here. And then, of course, 16 plus 3 gives me 19. Let's move over to this example. Now we have a set of parentheses. 
So we have division and we have subtraction. But because the subtra subtraction is within parentheses, it actually gets our first priority. Parentheses are first, so I'm going to take care of what's in the parentheses before doing anything else. But I'm going to rewrite everything I haven't changed in the expression. So the 15 and the division sign is just waiting. But then 7 minus 4 is 3. And then after I finish subtracting, I have 15 divided by 3, which is, of course, 5. Down here, I have division and multiplication. Kind of like in our first example there, we have two things that have the same priority. They're both priority number 3. And so remember, we decide which to do first, in case of a tie, by moving left to right. So my division's on the left, so 24 divided by 3 is 8. Drop the times 4 straight down, and 8 times 4 is 32. The last example here, um, we have 3 squared minus 3 divided by 5 plus 1. Now, this parentheses, number 1 here, um, is kind of deceiving you don't necessarily always have to see parentheses in order for it to fall in this category. Um, what I probably should say here is that what you do first is all types of grouping symbols. Often we use parentheses to indicate grouping symbols, uh, but not 100% of the time. So here's a case where a division sign kind of forms two sets of grouping symbols. So the top and the bottom of these division signs need to be completed first before you actually divide. So in a sense, this big division sign is kind of a grouping symbol. So on top, I have 3 squared minus 3. On top, what do I do first? Well, I have an exponent and I have subtraction. Well, exponents are here number two, subtractions down here at number four, so I know that the exponent comes first. So three squared is nine, because three squared is three times three. I'll rewrite my minus three. And then on bottom I have five plus one. There's only one thing to do, so I'm go I'm safe to go ahead and put a the result of six on the bottom. And then 9 minus 3 is 6 on top. So I've taken care of the top, I've taken care of the bottom before I've done that division. And then finally, 6 divided by 6 is 1.